YouTube, what's going on? Just a couple of things real quick. These uh these new muscle series cars. I had to do a tire swap. These are not OEM green light. The wheels are, but the tires are OEM Auto World. I don't I wish that the tires that came on it weren't totally screwed up but there's so much flashing that the while the tire protrudes so much that it won't roll so and these are perfect it's a very nice roller and I think it still looks good actually might look better so I did that the other car is the Gran Torino. Those are the two cars that had the massive issues. <clears throat> this is a really cool car though. Really cool touring. This is definitely the best 67 Camaro in the scale. At least at least between uh, between Greenlight, Auto World, M2, and Johnny Lightning. Okay, so I got this today. It's a pretty unique car. It's a 1950 Olds Rocket 88. Johnny Lightning Havana Knights. 2500 made. interesting color garnet maroon poly um, that's a nice looking car it's nice having uh, round two handling all of the detail for Johnny. No opening hood. Got a green engine block in there. It's really small. It's probably one to sixty eight scale. But it looks pretty good. I like it. Wheels and tires are probably my favorite part of this car. Very nicely done. So anyways, there's that. But the main purpose of the video I acquired a, an M2 model kit, which I don't do very often, but this one's actually kind of nice. So Now, wouldn't you know it, I pull it out of the package and something's missing, but that's par for the course for M2. One of the best features of the truck is those lensed headlights and we're missing one. Really nice wheels and tires though. It was super easy to put this together. So it came with your fuel injected. I went with the carbureted though. Now this one did involve glue. It's the first one I've ever done where I've had to use glue. 
and I had to use it to fasten the engine into the engine bay and the way I did that underneath the base the two little posts come down through the base and I just dabbed some glue at the bottom that was enough to hold it in and then the seats are just kind of sitting in there the other thing that I had to glue which surprised me was I had to glue the wheels to, to the axle because the the hubs on the wheels were too big so they weren't the tension wasn't uh, wasn't working now I have to say I like the truck this probably is my favorite M2 tooling but it has all the typical issues like this is why opening doors is not a good idea in 1 to 64 that just looks awful and personally I would rather have a non-opening door than have an opening door look that awful um, probably could adjust it I didn't really think about that while I had it apart the cabin bed are separate pieces so it's kind of it can be difficult to get it apart sometimes they come to they come apart easily and sometimes it's a pain in the ass so it just depends but I would just prefer not to have the opening door and then this side is a little bit better but the other wheels that this came with are awful here's the other wheels they're molded in white so and this is what they are they just look horrible but the tires were really nice so what I did, um, let me find it here, which one is it? One of these tires, this one here, this tire here is flat. And so, because these tires came off of a different truck that was screwed to a base and it was screwed down so tight that it flattened the tires. And so this truck had some flat tires, so I took these brand new unused tires, and now I've got a super nice rolling truck. But I do like the deco on the Goodyear, and I like the wheels and tires. I don't know, this is one casting where I think M2 did a much better job than Greenlight. I just think the overall look of the truck is nicer. And M2, I mean, here's another example. They do have some nice stuff. It's just that the vast majority of their stuff is poor build quality but I do love this Cadillac really nice car these are all huge though these are probably <clears throat> 1 to 60 scale course when I looked at this to pull it out of the case the mirror popped off so because of that we don't need this other one see when you don't want them to come off they come right off when you want them to come off they don't come off go figure what a joke Anyways, there's your Goodyear M2 Goodyear Deco. 
All right, well, that's going to complete this video. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, if you've never done one of these M2 kits, they're really easy to do. You might need super glue, and you might not. Um, this is the first one that I've done where I needed it. But like the Nissan, the 240Z, the engine, I think, is already in the car. But I think any time you have to... I think any time you have to put the engine in, you're probably going to need super glue. Otherwise, it's not going to stay in there. Um, but other than that, um, you know, this is the first time I've ever seen the axle issue. So, I don't know. I would just get super glue just in case. But other than that, they're really easy. This one's probably one of the more difficult ones just because the body is two separate pieces and uh, but it's pretty simple so but uh, yeah so that's it um, we're almost done with the week got Thursday tomorrow so everybody have a good day and hopefully I will be back soon with some more awesome diecast. Y'all take care.